Alrighty, so before we get started, I'm just here to let you know that all of our merch sales for April, so for the next like 39 days, I think it is, all the profits will be going to Sick Kids um, for Canada's Wonderland's first rider auction. On top of that, any of our Patreon's pledges will also be going to the Sick Kids Foundation. Um, so all of our merch and any Patreon's pledges will be going to Sick Kids. So now's the time to buy your merch. Um, and also the time to register for Patreon, um, as all the proceeds will be going to a very good cause. Now, we haven't decided what we're going to do fully uh, with the uh, if we were to win a seat. I don't think we are going to use it personally. I'm just waiting to hear back from someone, and I'll have more details on that. I'm hoping to use it as a giveaway um, to you guys. Um, so anyways, just wanted to let you guys know very quickly before this video that all of the proceeds from our merch sales and Patreon will be going towards that. But now let's get right on topic. Yukon Strikers second test run. Yes, we got the second test run. It is full from point A to point B. Um, and it looks epic. This thing has a lot more speed in that third half, I guess I'll call it, um, than I actually anticipated it's actually very quick for um kind of like i always thought like from the mcbr to that little airtime hill before the helix were similar in height so i was like oh it's gonna be so slow but that's not the case and you'll see why um but this thing has a ton of speed today was by the way extremely windy we almost couldn't fly it was about 26 kilometers an hour with gusts like in the 30s approaching 40s um so it was definitely uh definitely in that area of probably couldn't fly if it got a little bit more windy um, and the gusts were detrimental if something were to go wrong um, but we flew and uh, very thankful we did so the the chain dog is not um, the drop uh, chain is not engaged still again that probably won't engage for another week or two um, so we'll have to wait a week or two for you guys to see that but Yukon striker in six degree weather and high winds is still running very quickly and that's impressive so imagine this thing in summer um i'm hearing rumors that trim brakes are going to be added to yukon striker and that is not going to happen um yukon striker is on track um discovery channel is probably going to be filming there next week like there's no trims being added there's nowhere they could add a trim really um heading from the immelman into the zero g roll before it. there's nowhere a trim can go so there's definitely no room for trim. So you can throw that rumor in the garbage. This is what it's meant to do. B&M doesn't make mistakes, knock on wood. But um, this is definitely super impressive. And this is where it gets really impressive, in my opinion, only because um, I was definitely under hyping. Like I was definitely making myself to think that this part of the ride was going to be really boring. But it looks really fun. It's not insane, but it's definitely a lot more fun and fast paced than I originally had anticipated. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this full off ride shot of Yukon Strikers second test run. Um, Craiga will be taking over the channel next week while I'm in the States. So on Thursday, I'll be at Dollywood and the Friday, Saturday, I'll be at Carowinds. Um, but don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.